my backstage work before the play in a drama club at junior high. The drama club to which I belonged when I was a junior high school student had two school plays a year, for the homecoming entertainment and for the welcoming new students party. The casting would be done by a seniority system. A handful of senior members appeared on the stage and other members worked backstage. New members usually started from the stage prop staff, then were promoted to the scene shifter, the spotlighting, the curtain drawer slash prompter, the stage lighting, and finally, the cast member. My fellow five newcomers had quit within a year because they couldn't take this slow promotion toward cast members, and I was the only one left among those who joined that year. Since there were so many members who were one year my senior, it seemed the day I would be cast in a play would never come in this seniority system. But once I begin something, I don't quit easily. When the twice-a-year school play came near, I would work eagerly backstage while seeing some senior cast members whose acting was much worse than mine rehearse on the stage. I started as the stage prop staff. The first play I took part in was a Japanese drama. Some cast members had trouble putting Japanese sandals very quickly when they stormed out of the room in one scene and complained to us. From then on I had stretched their sandals carefully before the scene for the cast members to put them on quickly. As the spotlighting, I learned to move a spotlight just as the cast member moved on stage and to keep the light above her chest all the time. Every once in a while in rehearsal, I made a mistake to follow the cast's quick movement and my light missed the position slightly. In that case, the play would come to an instant halt and everyone turned to me. I would stand straight beside the spotlight and yell I'm so sorry. To the whole production. Dreaming of standing on stage someday, I resigned myself to working for drearily trivial things so hard in the total shadow of the glittering stage glamour. Audiobook Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. The nearest supermarket to my apartment puts half-off stickers to the prepared foods that are left unsold at 7.30 p.m. and sometimes, they put 75% off stickers to the ones that are still unsold after the half-off at 8.30 p.m. but it all depends on the unsold amount, and the 75% off sale is rarely fulfilled. When it is, though, the supermarket turns into heaven to me. It's a risky challenge worth a bet. I decided to go for it today and convinced myself that the main purpose was not to get the 75% off foods but to take a walk. This is my fail-safe mindset to protect myself from a bitter disappointment in case nothing is left at the store. I went there, and lost the bet. Their shelf for prepared foods was completely empty. I kept saying to myself that I came here to take a walk, not to shop. But I had to buy some other mildly discounted items to console myself. I couldn't shake off the frustration in any way. My failsafe plan didn't work for my greed. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. <laughs>